Welcome everyone, today we're going to be checking out Hyperscape in 2021. Is the game dead? Can you find lobbies? What is the game like now compared to how it was when it launched last year in 2020? We're going to find all that out today. Let's jump straight into some Hyperscape. Here we are, we have landed in the world of Hyperscape. Now I just want to formally apologise for my PlayStation sounded like a jet. But oh my god, this brings back so many memories. And I just want to say, the developers have fixed so many things with this game that were wrong with it. If you guys would have played it when it first came out, there was no field of view for console players. And the game was in a pretty bad state in terms of, you know, what you can customise in your settings. And I remember buying the Battle Pass and not even playing this game after I bought the Battle Pass. I just want to say one thing. I've played the many Battle Royales. In fact, I've played all of the big Battle Royales. And this game has the best cosmetics, in my opinion. Just the, the melee weapons. I mean, this is all I've got on locked but you have so many melee weapons which are a unique thing hyperscape has i'm going to equip this one here purely because i haven't used it before but uh, let's jump into a game let's see if we can find a lobby and yeah let's let's do this let's uh, relive some nostalgia they've added team deathmatch this is what we're going to go for today so we're going to go with team deathmatch because that is what we're likely to find a lobby in and also they've added crossplay as well another thing the community requested and they added it a few months after. They've done all of the right things and this game just seemed to have died so fast. We can see 10 people in the lobby. I don't know what the max is or you can get. 11 people. It doesn't look like you can get full lobbies anymore, which is quite sad, but you know, Hyperscape could make a comeback in 2021. If you guys think that's going to happen, be sure to let me know. Wait, I want a gun. Can we get a gun? Okay, nice. Okay, we've only got launchers at the moment. Okay, this guy's on me right now. Okay, I've got my armor equipped. How much health do you have in Team Deathmatch? Not a lot by the looks of things. And he's destroying me right now. Let me see if I can get in with this. No. Okay, I haven't played the game in a while, as you guys can see. Nice, we got him. Let's go. We're back. Okay, we've got the Hexfire. The Hexfire used to be OP. I remember how many people complained about this. This was one of the most OP guns in the game. Oh, the Skybreaker, we have to take it. Oh, I see someone, I see someone. Oh my god, this game feels good. This game feels good compared to when I last played it. The aiming feels better, everything feels so much better about this game. Where are the enemies at? I mean, there's not many people in this lobby. And that's purely because not many people are playing the, uh, the game anymore. Oh, and the Lethal Melee event. This game had events as well, I completely forgot about that. Okay, maybe the action's over here. Maybe we're in the wrong place for action. This is where the action is, guys. There we go. This is where the action's at right now. This guy's AFK. He's probably, uh, I don't know, doing something else. Oh, this guy. Oh, damn. Okay, they're all spawning over here. It's very clear. There we go, boys. Okay, I feel like people are going to start getting triggered that I'm using the hex fire. The hex fire is still OP by the looks of things. Oh, there's three people here. Let me go for this guy up here. Oh, damn. Nice. No, no, no. I need to reload. Nice. Let me pop my invulnerable real quick. No, I'm, I'm in a very bad position right here. I'm in a very bad position right now. Oh man, I've, I've missed this game though. And uh, guys, if you haven't played this game for a few months like myself, I recommend you jump back on it because they have changed a lot of things with this game. It feels a lot smoother than it did. And uh, the game didn't launch in its best state, I think it's fair to say. nice this game is so fun honestly i don't know why it died i'm really upset there was basically a week um during hyperscape's length there was a week after hyperscape came out i remember there was a week where all the big streamers were playing it and then it just died usually when games die they gradually die but this game it just died straight away which was a massive mystery especially by a game that's been published by ubisoft you know a triple a publisher oh no no i've switched the wrong gun Come on. 
Yes, let's go. And that's another thing. The time to kill is really high. People didn't like that. The fact that there was a high time to kill in this game. But yeah, this, this game could make a comeback soon. It could make a comeback. Come on, come on. Nice. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to try and pick up another gun because I feel like I'm abusing this hex fire a little bit too much. What's this? Oh, I remember the harpy. The harpy was also a really good weapon. Oh, I see him. I see him, I see him. Wait, what? He glitched so fast. Quickly pop mine vulnerable. Let him shoot first. And then... That's what we do. We always trick them out there with the invulnerable. Where is this guy at? Nice, let's go. Nice, and we won. Let's go, victory. We came second place right there. This is the first time I played Team Deathmatch, and I just want to say, this game has brought back memories. I really enjoyed this game. It was so fun to play. I uploaded so many videos on the channel. It's so sad to see it die, but this year could be the comeback of Hyperscape. Ubisoft have experience making comebacks. Do you guys think that it will make a comeback, or do you think it's completely dead? Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Now, although Hyperscape, some people would consider it dead, it's one of the least popular Battle Royale. Hours. They are still working full time on this game. They're currently in season two. There is loads of content being pumped into this game every few months. As you guys can see, they've got a new battle pass. I'm not going to purchase it because I don't really play this game that much, but I can appreciate how nice the skins look in this game. Now, if Hyperscape doesn't build up in popularity, they could abandon all future projects for this game and essentially abandon this game completely. But there could be a comeback on the cards for Hyperscape in 2021. I would love to see this game, you know, build its community further because it deserves some recognition this game is such a fun game but the only thing that lets it down is the fact that it's not casual friendly the games that are the most popular are the ones that are easy to play such as warzone apex legends hyperscape is a very fast paced game and if you're naturally not that great at video games then you're probably not going to enjoy this game much and you're going to get destroyed in most lobbies. But as I said earlier, Ubisoft can make a change and they can bring this game back. Rainbow Six Siege, which was also published by Ubisoft, had a very bad start. And now it's one of the biggest tactical shooters out there. This game, although it's had a very bad start, this could be the year where Hyperscape blows up again. It's nice to see them still producing updates for this game. And I'm still confused as to why it's not as popular as it is right now. But uh, nonetheless, be sure to let me know your thoughts on Hyperscape. Do you still play Hyperscape? If not, why do you not play it anymore? And yeah, I'll be interested in hearing what you guys have to say down below. Oh my God, the, move the movement was so good in this game. The movement alone is what made me really enjoy this game. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, I'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new video. Take care.